Hello everyone, have you ever used OneDrive before? If you haven't used it yet, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use OneDrive effectively. As a matter of fact, OneDrive is one of the amazing products made available to users by Microsoft Corporation. Here, what it looks like, the Microsoft Corporation. It is in fact built right in Windows 10. So, if you are using older versions of Windows, for example using Windows 7 or Windows 8, then you will miss out on some cool features, even though you get OneDrive application installed on your Windows 7 or Windows 8, because you won't see it on the sidebar, on the left of the sidebar in the Window Explorer. But if you use Windows 10 after signing in, you will see the icon of the OneDrive on the left of the sidebar um, on your Windows Explorer. Now, before working on OneDrive, I'd like you to know some basic benefits of OneDrive. Okay, so the rest of the other useful features, I would like you to do self-exploration by yourself. Okay, first, you can access 5 GB of the online storage for free. So you don't have to worry about losing important documents anymore if something wrong happens to your computer or to your phones, uh, which you have those files in, as long as you sign in again with the same email address. Number two, you can use it across different and multiple devices such as iPhones, Android phones, and Windows. This means you can get access to your document easily at any time and anywhere as you wish. Let's say you have your documents saved in your OneDrive. Suppose this is the OneDrive, and you save all of the documents in your OneDrive. And then, you want to see those documents as well on the other computer. That's not gonna be a problem. It means you don't have to bring your computer to your workplace so that you can get access to those files. As long as you sign in with the same email address, then you will be able to see those files. So it saves a lot of time and you don't have to, you know, bring your computer to workplace. That is one of the cool features. Number three, it's convenient to use since it works the same way as you work on computers. For instance, you can create new folders, for example. Let's say this is the, the way you work. For example, in your local drive, you do right click, go to new and go to folder or maybe you press ctrl shift and letter n so that you can create a new folder and you name it let's say testing for one drive okay so whatever you can do on your uh, local drive you can do the same in one drive folder all right and features number four is the features that it's so amazing if you work at an organization and you sh you want to share a bunch of documents with other colleagues, co-workers, then you can do it as well. And number five, this feature, it's, you know, the features that you need to explore by yourself. Now that you've been aware of the most significant benefits of OneDrive, let's sign in and make use of it, right? So click on the icon, click on sign in, and then type in the email address. Now, this works with any email address. It doesn't have to be Hotmail or Gmail or Yahoo Mail. But in this case, because I have created my uh, Hotmail account, so I want to use it. But in your case, if you if you want to use Gmail, then uh, you don't have to hesitate to use it. Just use it. Okay. So I type in my email address, mgn2010 at hotmail.com click on sign in and then you have to wait a little bit yes and now it asks you to fill in the password so I fill in your password hopefully it's correct if not it won't allow you to sign in click on sign in hopefully it works please work yeah it works click on next And you have to be patient. Okay, click on next. Click on next. And this is so important. You need to know. If you see this symbol on any file or folder, 
uh, when you already have OneDrive uh, activated, it means those documents are available online only. So if you do not have internet, you can get access to those files. But those files are already available on the storage, on the online storage, okay? This means this file is already available on your device and you can work on it even though you are offline. This means you can get access to it anytime because it's already available. Okay, click on next. And this just want to uh, alert you or notify you that the mobile app is also available on your Android phones, on your iOS phones, okay? So I click on letter because I already installed it on my mobile phone, okay? And if you want to get to see, let's say, what's there on your OneDrive, click on open my OneDrive folder, okay? So these are the folders, the documents that I have, okay? And I will tell you more how to work on it, but now just want to tell you one cool feature you see here personal vault this is like the safe the place where even though somebody can let's say use your computer they can get access to that personal vault this is the safe place where you can keep your documents so it's really cool isn't it now I like to continue to tell you to make some configuration now click on this icon and go to the settings go to setting over here and now go to setting here if you want to have all of your files available I mean just any time you want your OneDrive to sync simply mean to transfer all the files available from the online storage to your computer then you have to remove the check over here okay so it means all the files will be downloaded to your uh, uh, OneDrive and here means it means it will automatically uh, start uh, with uh, Windows startup okay so you can read more by yourself but for me I don't prefer this feature because my uh, local storage is big I mean drive C so it's big then I don't have to worry about it and also the files in OneDrive is not that much so go to account and then you can look at this one okay so for security your personal wall automatically locks when you are not actively using it so this means uh, after you leave it unattended for 20 minutes then it will automatically locked so that's cool feature right okay so that's all uh, for other features you can uh, check by yourself and click on OK Alright, so now let's say you see this icon, it means now your OneDrive is downloading the documents, okay? Because I removed the check from the save space, something like that. Okay, if you uh, go to your Windows Explorer, you can see it on the left side. Okay, once again, if you save all of these documents like this on your computer, and after that you want to go to your workplace and you don't want to bring your computer with you that's cool you don't have to do it because as long as you sign in with the same email address all of the folders all of the files will be available on the other computer that you use at the workplace okay so let's say you want to create a folder okay do right click go to new go to folder or just press ctrl shift and button N okay yes you see it's new folder 2 so let's say share documents share documents with my colleagues okay I have to delete other two okay now if you delete it then it will be deleted as well from the online storage so just be careful before you delete okay so Let's say I want to share it with my colleagues. I just do right click and then I choose the word share. And now there are two options. Whether you want to share through link, copy the link and send it to your friends through Telegram Messenger, whatever platform of the social media you want to use. But if you know your friend's email address, just type your friend's email address. Let's say I send to my other account so 20 20 10 at gmail account yep 
so it's available, click on it. And also never forget to look at who and to what extent the accessibility is available. So click on it and see if you don't want your friend to edit, to delete, to add something to the document. If you just want your friend to view that document, then remove the check, all right? But for me, because I want my friend to contribute, they can delete, they can add or whatever, then yeah, I will check this box and click on apply. And when you're ready, just click on send. Once again, if you want to add more people, click on this and type more email. If you do not know their email address, then just simply click on copy link and then send to your friend. Your friend click on it and then they will see the file share. Okay, so click on send. Let's say I want to open the files in the share. So how can I do? So you can sign in with OneDrive. Okay, so let's say you type sign in OneDrive and when you click on it, you will see this and when you sign in, you will see what it looks like okay here like this all right and then click on okay this is the same account so let me sign it out first because I want to show you how it works sign out please wait be patient because this video is for you so you need to be patient to get to know all of the features available to you to the uh, account user to the basic account user click on sign in Okay, so I sign it with my Gmail because I just sent to my Gmail address uh, I'm gin2010 at gmail.com Click on next Okay, now if you don't want to type in your uh, password again, just check this box and now uh, Okay, so I'm not sure about my password. Hopefully I can remember it Please be correct. Oh, thank God. Okay, it's correct. Okay, here. This is a very cool feature. Uh, some people don't know that it's available. But you're lucky that you watch this video. So click on this one. Okay. Let's say I go to share. And now, what's the name of the, the folder that I just shared with my Gmail? Share documents with colleagues. Okay. So check the box first. Or maybe just simply do right click and then you have to click on add to my OneDrive. When you do like that already, yeah, add folder, then you can see that folder right here in your OneDrive. And whatever you write here, let's say I add the new file, uh, right? Sorry, sorry. Do right click, new and go to let's say Microsoft Word and then I type let's say please check okay and then I type something over here let's say here is the tests doc only okay you save now your file is safely saved on your online storage your server okay so let's say um, I want to see that file so I have to first I have to unlink so that I can show it to you okay now I unlink it already okay so um, let me delete the files in my OneDrive first otherwise it won't work you see it have already uploaded so many files already but you know for the sake of showing you i have to delete it i have to sacrifice it so click on this icon click on sign in sign in with my gmail address a moment ago i signed in with my hotmail but now i sign in with my gmail because i want to show you how it works gmail.com click on sign in okay yeah it's correct sign in with my um, password okay cool it works okay click on next click on next click on next click on next letter go to open my OneDrive folder 
All right, now you can see here the file that I shared, okay, uh, with my Gmail account. So if you click on it, double click, yes. So let's say, yeah, here is the, the test doc only. Now, if you want to type anything there, you can, okay. There it is, okay. And then your friend will be able to see it. Okay, so hopefully you can use OneDrive effectively by now. And thanks for watching this video from start to finish. If you have any more questions that you want to ask, then don't hesitate to drop or leave your comments below this video. Thank you for watching again and see you in the next video. Good night.